What's up everybody, welcome to another camera comparison video. Today I have this Oppo Find X6 Pro and Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Well, a lot of people have also requested for another video. Yeah, I have this Vivo X90 Pro Plus and I'm gonna do a dedicated camera comparison video between these three smartphones. But today we are not only gonna talk about camera performance, we are also gonna talk about gaming, benchmark, speaker and a lot other things. Yeah, we will check all the different aspects and then we will decide which one among these two is actually the best flagship smartphone. Well, before we start this video, one request, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel, support honest content. I'm really tired with those fake review videos or review videos which are actually not a review, which are advertisements for some brands. There are a lot of brand puppets here and there on YouTube, so be careful about what you believe and what you buy. Anyway, I've been using Spigen ArcStation Pro for a long time now. It's almost more than 10 months and I'm super satisfied with this product. If you're looking for a very fast GAN charger, then I think you should try this Spigen. Yeah, this video is brought to you by Spigen. Well, Xiaomi 13 Ultra comes with four sensors at the back. There is a 1-inch Sony IMX989 main sensor and it's accompanied by three other Sony IMX858 sensors. Oppo Find X6 Pro comes with three sensors at the back. It also has a Sony IMX989 1-inch main sensor, but it has two other flagship class Sony IMX890 sensors. For your information, Xiaomi 13 Ultra has variable aperture and Leica optimization, while Oppo has collaborated with Hasselblad and Oppo Find X6 Pro has Oppo's own Mari Silicon X NPU. Truly, other than a few hiccups here and there, both have performed almost equally well. White balance and saturation jumps back and forth, but in general, Xiaomi has kept the tone a bit warm while Oppo has kept it a bit cold. Trust me. Most of the time, the differences are almost negligible. In some photos, Oppo has better exposure and wider dynamic range. And in some photos, Xiaomi has more details along with sharper textures. Sometimes, Xiaomi has also increased contrast. It's the same about color rendition. Sometimes, Xiaomi has reproduced almost perfect colors, while sometimes Oppo has done even better. The problem is, in Leica vibrant mood, Xiaomi has done better while Xiaomi has totally failed to reproduce true-to-life colors in Leica Authentic. I need to mention a lot depends on the scenario. Sometimes Oppo Find X6 Pro just have done a bit better and sometimes Xiaomi 13 Ultra pulls ahead. So while both are really impressive, I found during the day that Oppo had more instances of better dynamic range with higher detail level. I am going to give Xiaomi the benefit of doubt since it has just got released. Also, you need to understand both the Xiaomi and Oppo has performed way better than the other flagships available on the market. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. Please give me a like. She don't want to give me the umbrella. Oppo Find X6 Pro can take portrait photos using its 2.8x telephoto lens and with its main sensor, while Xiaomi can only use its 3.2x telephoto lens to take portrait photos. As Oppo Find X6 Pro comes with a better Sony IMX890 sensor, it has done slightly better. Both the Xiaomi and Oppo has reproduced superb bokeh photos, almost perfect edge detection and edge cutouts. Separation between the subject and background is also very good. Oppo Find X6 Pro has slight more details and definition on the subject. Skin tone, color tone mapping and contrast ratio is also slightly better processed by Oppo. It doesn't mean Xiaomi has done worse. Definitely Xiaomi has also done well but Oppo has brought their performance to almost an untouchable level. Depending on your personal preferences, you may select any of these two smartphones for portrait photography, cause both are really 
better than many other flagships available on the market. She's such a baby, <laughs> cute little baby. <laughs> well, today me and Tia, we came outside near the lake. Yeah, it's a lakeside resort. We are living here for two days and doing some camera comparison videos. I was like so tired, exhausted because YouTube things, then my job and yeah, if you have a relationship, it's a very difficult in China and well, you check carefully which smartphone has rendered my skin tone correctly, which smartphone actually has rendered our skin tone correctly, which smartphone has wider dynamic range, which smartphone yeah, has better color grading. It's a bit difficult to say now. What do you think? Please don't forget to make a comment and let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, Kia wanna say something. Please like this video. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. Kia, can we run? Yes, I can. Run. Let's go. <laughs> well, it's time to flip to the rear cameras. Both the Xiaomi and Oppo has surprised me with their selfie performance. If you consider the performance of last generation phones from these brands, then you will also be shocked. Both have grabbed a lot of details, processed textures with sharpness. Xiaomi has a bit of a reddish tone on the face of the subject. Sometimes Xiaomi has slightly saturated the colors and sometimes it has increased highlights to make the subject look more beautiful and appealing. I would stick to Oppo Find X6 Pro, but one more time, Find X6 Pro is only marginally better than Xiaomi 13 Ultra. I believe Xiaomi 13 Ultra will also get better through future updates. Let's unbox these two monsters together. After opening the top lid, there is another envelope type of box. Inside this box, you will get some paperwork, a SIM ejector tool, and a protective case. Why Xiaomi provided a black colored protective case inside the box of a green colored phone? I don't know why Xiaomi always has to do something cheap. Xiaomi has provided a 90 watt charger and a USB A to USB C charging cable. Xiaomi 13 Ultra supports 50 watt wireless and 90 watt wired charging. Oppo has provided a 100 watt superfook charger inside the box along with a USB A to USB C charging cable. Oppo Find X6 Pro supports 100 watt wired and 50 watt wireless charging. Before we move forward, let's quickly check the specifications of both the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and the Oppo Find X6 Pro. Xiaomi 13 Ultra has just got released in Chinese market, so I have no idea about what will be the price of Xiaomi 13 Ultra in global market. Whatever some other reviewers are telling you in their videos, the truth is Xiaomi 13 Ultra feels like a cheap and weighty device in hand. The rear panel feels even cheaper than Xiaomi 12s Ultra. Even if Xiaomi claims that it's a vegan leather, it feels like cheap plastic with rough textures. Oppo Find X6 Pro comes in two different variants. One has glass back and another has vegan leather. I must say, in hand, Oppo Find X6 Pro feels way better and gives soothing comfort. On the other hand, due to poor weight distribution, it's very difficult to hold Xiaomi 13 Ultra for a long time. Both the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and Oppo Find X6 Pro comes with a similar huge circular rear camera block both looks amazing, however, while Xiaomi's rear camera block has a traditional appeal, Oppo Find X6 Pro's rear camera block looks fancy cause it has some additional design elements. The moment you hold Oppo Find X6 Pro in your hand, you will have an instant shiver of excitement, a joyful feeling due to its top class build quality. Xiaomi also has a nice and sturdy build quality, but Xiaomi has Corning Gorilla Glass Victus protection while Oppo has Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 protection for the display panel. Xiaomi 13 Ultra weighs around 230 grams, while Oppo Find X6 Pro weighs around 222 grams. Both have IP68 rating, so both are water and dust resistant. 
Xiaomi 13 Ultra has all the buttons on the right side, Oppo Find X6 Pro has volume rockers on the left and power button on the right side. On top, both have a secondary noise cancellation microphone, IR emitter and a speaker cutout. Another speaker grill, USB-C port, primary microphone and a dual SIM SIM tray is located at the bottom. Xiaomi 13 Ultra supports USB 3.2 connectivity, Oppo Find X6 Pro supports USB 3.1. If you check the curvature and design language, you will notice that Xiaomi has added a few unnecessary curves and those actually leads to comfort issues while holding the phone in hand without a protective case. And it's true that with the protective case, it looks ugly. Also, I don't understand why Xiaomi has provided a black protective case inside the box of a green colored variant. I personally prefer the design language of Oppo Find X6 Pro. It has an elegant vibe and more importantly, in hand, it feels better. It has a very elegant and charming appearance. Both the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and the Oppo Find X6 Pro comes with a 2K panel. Xiaomi has a relatively smaller 6.73 inches panel made by TCL. Oppo Find X6 Pro got a 6.82 inches panel made by Samsung. Both are LTPO3 AMOLED, both supports HDR10+, Dolby Vision and can reproduce 1 billion colors. Xiaomi has 1920Hz PWM. Oppo has 1440Hz PWM. Xiaomi 13 Ultra goes slightly brighter with 2600 nits. Find X6 Pro can go up to 2500 nits. Anyway, in real life, there is a huge difference in display performance. Oppo Find X6 Pro can reproduce natural yet vibrant colors while Xiaomi fails. Even if the display panel of Xiaomi can go very bright, but under sunlight, I have noticed that the colors are a bit pale. It's neither original nor vibrant. Oppo Find X6 Pro comes with a better display calibration. It has better natural tone display, reading mood and dark mood. Both comes with the video enhancer, HDR enhancer and image sharpener. Both supports 120Hz refresh rate. Okay, after using these devices for a few weeks now, I can say without any hesitation. Oppo Find X6 Pro's display panel is much better than Xiaomi 13 Ultra's. And if you really care about eye care, reading mood, dark mood, these things, then you should go with Oppo Find X6 Pro. A lot of people trust and likes Antutu Benchmark, but I don't. Rather, I prefer 3DMark, especially Wildlife Extreme Stress Test of 3DMark. This one offers useful information about both the CPU and the GPU. Moreover, we can check whether there is any thermal throttling or not. As expected, top or peak score of Oppo Find X6 Pro is 3733. Xiaomi 13 Ultra has managed to get 3730. There is almost no difference in peak score. But in terms of stability, Find X6 Pro is far ahead. It's really amazing to see that, even being a camera-centric phone, Oppo Find X6 Pro has a great stability rate of 99%. Kudos to Oppo. Well, I know some of you still would like to check Antutu score. I have run Antutu score back to back three times and Oppo has not only got the highest score, it has also managed to keep the phone cool and get a very high score even after the third run. Xiaomi 13 Ultra has got 1,261,000. On the other hand, Oppo Find X6 Pro has got 1,323,000. Does those benchmark scores actually mean anything in real life gaming? The truth is, Oppo Find X6 Pro gaming performance is comparable to any flagship gaming smartphones. Xiaomi 13 Ultra also offers solid gaming performance, but there is an issue. It gets heated after 40 to 50 minutes of graphics intensive gaming. Playing Genshin Impact on this Xiaomi 13 Ultra for half an hour is amazing, but after that, if you really want to use high graphics settings, you will start to feel lags due to thermal throttling. On the other hand, Oppo Find X6 Pro offers battery smooth in-game experience with stable 60 frames per second at high graphics settings. 
I have truly enjoyed the gaming sessions and as Oppo has a better display panel, graphics intensive games looks much vibrant and accurate on this Oppo flagship. Gaming performance of Oppo Find X6 Pro is comparable to Red Magic 8 Pro and Asus ROG 7. In terms of frame rate stability, Oppo Find X6 Pro stands just after Red Magic 8 Pro and Asus ROG 7. Okay, both of these two smartphones comes with a dual speaker setup that is stereo speaker setup. Both of these two smartphones got a dedicated secondary speaker on top. But after using both of these two smartphones for more than a few weeks now, I think, yeah, stereo speaker performance of Xiaomi 13 Ultra isn't even as good as Xiaomi 12s Ultra. I really don't know why Xiaomi has uh, gave up that Herman Kardon collaboration or partnership. Actually, stereo speaker performance of this Oppo Find X6 Pro is even better than Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and definitely better than Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Let's listen to some music and then you can decide by yourself which one is better. Xiaomi 13 Ultra runs on Xiaomi's own Android skin MIUI. Xiaomi 13 Ultra comes with MIUI 14 on top of Android 13 out of the box and I believe this is the biggest drawback of Xiaomi 13 Ultra that it runs on MIUI. Oppo Find X6 Pro comes with ColorOS 13.1 on top of Android 13 out of the box. Trust me, there is almost no difference between this color OS and Oxygen OS. Oppo has already taken all the good things from its younger brother OnePlus, so color OS is much more optimized than before. Both of these devices come with an in-display fingerprint sensor. It's easy to register on both the devices and both performs similarly well. I haven't noticed any differences or any lags or any issues. As usual, Xiaomi 13 Ultra and Oppo Find X6 Pro both got a face unlock option. This is 2D face unlock option. Face unlock option of both of these two smartphones works perfectly fine. Pretty fast, pretty smooth, again, no complaints. Okay, if you are gonna use banking applications on your smartphone, then you will need to check whether your smartphone supports safety net or not. Let's check the safety net status of Xiaomi 13 Ultra and Oppo Find X6 Pro. Yeah, it's great to see both have passed without any issue. Now let's check Widevine certification. Xiaomi 13 Ultra and Oppo Find X6 Pro both got the most desired L1 certification and that means we can enjoy HD streaming without any issue. Both the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and Oppo Find X6 Pro got a 5000 mAh battery. However, Xiaomi 13 Ultra supports 90 watt wear charging and Oppo Find X6 Pro supports 100 watt wear charging. Both of these two supports 50 watt wireless charging and 10 watt reverse wireless charging. Xiaomi 13 Ultra takes about 39 minutes to get fully charged with its 90 watt wear charger and takes about 56 minutes to get fully charged with a 50 watt proprietary wireless charger from Xiaomi. Oppo Find X6 Pro takes around 32 minutes to get fully charged with its 100 watt SuperVOOC charger and it also takes a bit less, I mean 52 minutes to get fully charged with a 50 watt SuperVOOC wireless charger. All these are almost acceptable, but what I really hate about this Xiaomi 13 Ultra is I have only managed to squeeze about 6 hours and 15 minutes of screen on time. I'm really a bit surprised because Oppo Find X6 Pro goes beyond 7 hours. Xiaomi 13 Ultra has a new feature known as hibernation mood, which automatically kicks in when Xiaomi 13 Ultra's battery level drops to 1% and it allows the phone to be on standby mode for an additional 60 minutes. But can we count that as screen on time? Definitely not. Time for verdict and my verdict is Xiaomi 13 Ultra is a great camera smartphone, but 
Oppo Find X6 Pro in some segments is way better because Oppo Find X6 Pro comes with its own. I mean Oppo's self-developed Mari Silicon X NPU and Oppo Find X6 Pro actually comes with better sensors than Xiaomi 13 Ultra. But as Xiaomi 13 Ultra has more options, I mean there is a 3.2 times optical zoom, 5 times optical zoom. So yeah, if you like versatility then Xiaomi 13 Ultra is definitely a better choice. It's actually debatable which one is better because in some scenarios Oppo Find X6 Pro is a beast and in some other scenarios Xiaomi 13 Ultra has pulled stunners. Let's wait for the camera comparison video between Xiaomi 13 Ultra, Oppo Find X6 Pro and Vivo X90 Pro Plus. I think after watching that video you will understand which one is better than the other. But as a flagship smartphone I will choose this Oppo Find X6 Pro over Xiaomi 13 Ultra. If you have liked this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. Official love